Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are hale and healthy. I welcome you all to today's English class. You might be wondering if we are going to do a chapter or a poem from a textbook, Roots and Wings. No children. It's neither a chapter nor a poem. So what is it today? Hmm, any guesses? Okay, let me not keep the suspense anymore. Today, we will do a reading comprehension from our textbook. Yes, something that we have not done earlier. Right. Children, till now, otherwise we have done quite a many passages. Some of them were based on stories. Then in some of them, incidents were narrated. But what we are going to today is an informative passage. Informative means, yes, it is giving us some information. Yes, you are going to come to know about what it is going to tell us. But my dear students, whatever the kind of passages, what is important is to understand it. The purpose of reading is comprehension. That means um, you can say getting the meaning of the written text. Once we are able to understand the meaning, it becomes easy for us to answer the questions based on it. And this can be achieved only by reading the given text very carefully. And you know, this reading can be done twice or thrice or maybe till the time you understand it properly. It's not like that, that you once you have read the passage and it is done. No, if you have read the passage, not understood it, read it again. Then again, till the time you are able understand it completely. Right? After reading, we need to see the questions asked. Then, find out the answers of the questions from the passage. Also children, now because we have learnt the concept of tenses also. So while answering the questions, it is very important to take care of the tense. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Children, the passage that we are going to do today is given on page number 48 of your textbook. So it says, read the passage given below and answer the questions that follow. I'll do a simple single reading for you and then we'll try to understand it. Right? Okay. Nenital is one of the most beautiful places and popular hill stations among tourists. It lies in Uttarakhand and is located amidst the Kumau Hills. It is a hill station built around Nani Lake. Nenital is rich in natural beauty and has a pleasant climate all the year round. It is situated at an altitude of about 2000 meter above sea level. Nanny Lake is a popular spot for various activities like paddle boating. Other lakes that one can visit are Saryatal Lake, 
Bhimtal Lake and Khurpatal Lake. Some hilltops are also popular among the tourists. These are Nena Peak, Tiffin Top and Snow View Point. Nenital is a perfect place for a trip during the holidays. So children, that is the passage that is given to you. It is divided in three paragraphs. One, two and three. So what I did just now was a simple single reading of the passage. Right? By this reading, you must have understood what we are talking about. Yes, we are talking about a hill station, Nenital, that is what everybody would have understood. It's okay, you might not have got all the details, but at least we have come to know that this passage is giving us information about a hill station called Nenital. Now children, we are going to read it sentence by sentence and then we'll try to understand it. The first paragraph, Nenital is one of the most beautiful places and popular hill stations among tourists. It lies in Uttarakhand and is located amidst the Kumau Hills. So we are talking about Nenital. It is one of the most beautiful places. It is one of the places that is most beautiful and popular hill stations among tourists. What is popular children? I'm sure you would know popular means something that is famous. Something you can say that is liked or admired by many people. That is popular or famous. Hill stations among tourists. Who are tourists? Is people who visit a place. They are called tourists. So among the tourists... Nenital is one of the most beautiful places and it is very popular, very famous as a hill station amongst the tourists. It lies in Uttarakhand and is located amidst the Kumau Hills. It lies in Uttarakhand, that means it is in the state of Uttarakhand and is located amidst. What does amidst mean? Amidst means in the middle of. What you can say? When Something is surrounded by something, it is called amidst, like Nenital is located amidst the Kumau Hills. That means it is surrounded by Kumau Hills and it is in the middle. Nenital is in the middle, right? So children, take care of the pronouns. It over here has been used for Nenital. Nenital is the name of a place. So we have used the pronoun it for it. It for Nenital. Okay. It is a hill station built around Nenital. Neni Lake. Neni, Nenital is rich in natural beauty and has a pleasant climate all the year round. It is situated at an altitude of about 2000 meter above sea level. Nanny Lake is a popular spot for various activities like paddle boating. Okay. It is a hill station built around Nanny Lake. So Nanny Lake is the name of one of the lakes that are in and around Nanital. So this hill station, which hill station? Nanital. It is built around Nanny Lake. Nanital is rich in natural beauty. Rich in means, what does rich in mean? It is rich in natural beauty. Better when we say rich in, that means something that is having an abundance of something. Abundance means having lots of. That means Nenital is having lots of natural beauty. Natural me beauty means the beauty of nature. And what all things are there in the beauty of nature? Yes, the plants, the mountains, water, forests and everything that Mother Nature provides us. So, Nenital is rich in natural beauty. That means a lot of natural beauties there in Nenital and has a pleasant climate 
all the year round and has a pleasant climate pleasant means enjoyable something uh, you know that gives a sense of pleasure or enjoyment that is called pleasant so the climate of nainital is pleasant climate means weather weather conditions all the year round all the year round what does this mean all the year round means throughout the year the place which place nainital has a pleasant climate has an enjoyable climate pleasant climate means where when there is neither too hot nor too cold the climate remains pleasant nanny lake is a popular spot for various activities like paddle boating now nanny lake we had just read that it is built around nanny lake and it is a popular spot spot means spot means place for various activities various means many activities like paddle boating paddle boating means children you also might have seen a small boat with paddle wheels that you turn by moving the paddles with your feet like when you ride a bicycle you move the pedals in the same way paddle boating is there yes we just skipped one line it is situated at an altitude of about 2000 meter above sea level situated means located it is located at an altitude altitude means height it is located at an height at a height of about 2000 meters above sea level what is located nainital nainital is situated or located at a height of almost 2000 meters above sea level and uh, that I, this i have told you nanny lake is a popular spot for various activities like paddle boating yes many of you must have done also paddle boating once sometime in your life yes and many of you might have visited nainital also so you would be able to relate to it okay let's move on to the third paragraph other lakes that one can visit are saryatal lake bhimtal lake and khurpatal lake some hill tops are also popular among the tourists these are nana peak tiffin top and snow view point nainital is a perfect place for a trip during the holidays okay other lakes nani lake was one lake that can be visited other lakes that one can visit are saryatal lake bhimtal lake and khurpatal lake these are the names of three lakes some hill tops are also popular among the tourists hill tops what is a hill top yes children hill top means the top of a hill or the peak of a hill or you can say uh, the highest point of a hill so some hill tops they are also popular among the tourists so tourists like to visit the hill tops also which hill tops yes nana peak tiffin top and snow view point these are the popular hill tops right nainital is a perfect place for a trip during the holidays okay so it the paragraph it ends with nainital is a perfect place perfect means uh, you know something that has all the required or the desirable qualities so it is a perfect or you can say an excellent or the best place for a trip during the holidays so one can plan a trip during the holidays to nainital because of its lot of natural beauty and so many lakes and hill tops and pleasant climate there are many reasons i'm sure you would have got a lot of information about nainital and many of you would feel like visiting also nainital nonetheless we, uh, we will do so when the conditions are favorable okay the point over here is we have to understand the passage i hope all of you have understood it nicely now it's time to come to the questions 
Let's have a look at the questions. Let's see if we are able to answer them. Answer the following questions. In which state does Nanita lie? Okay. Do you remember? Did we read it somewhere in the passage? Was there a mention about it? In which state? Yes, in the beginning only I told you it lies in Uttarakhand. So we have got our answer. But are we going to write it lies in Uttarakhand just like that? Yes, in which state does Nenital lie? So we may write our answer as Nenital lies in Uttarakhand. Okay? Children, take care of the tense. As I told you, Nenita lies. L-I-E-S. Singular noun. So, S or E-S is added. In simple present tense. So, we will add S to it. And the sentence would be, Nenita lies in Uttarakhand. Easy? Okay. Let's move to the next one. Around which lake is Nenital built? Yes, did we read it somewhere? Around which lake is Nenital built? Yes, the first line of the second paragraph is giving us a clear answer. It is a hill station built around Nani Lake. So, around which lake is Nenital built? So, how are we going to frame our answer? Nenital is built around Nani Lake. Right? Nenital is built around Nani Lake. Simple and easy. Done. Next one. Mention one lake that a person can visit near Nenital. Okay, we had learned the names of many lakes. So, but here we are asked just one lake. Children, again, please notice. That if you are asked in the question about one lake and you know about so many lakes. There is no need to write the names of all of them. One is asked so write the name of only one lake. Mention one lake that a person can visit near Nenita. So you may write. Um, a person can visit Saryatal Lake near Nenital or, or you can replace Saryatal Lake by Bhimtal Lake also. You can write a person can visit Bhimtal Lake around Nenital or you can also write Khurpatal Lake. That is entirely your wish or Neni Lake. So the name or you have the choice of four names of four lakes. It's your choice. Whatever you want to write. Done. Okay, give the name of a famous hilltop in Nenital. Okay, so the names of three hilltops are given to us. Again, children, Nena Peak, Tiffin Top and Snow View Point. These are the names of three hilltops. But he, he has asked, give the name of a famous. A means one. So we may write, Nena Peak is a famous hilltop in Nenital or Tiffin Top is a famous hilltop in Nenital. Or snow view point is a famous hill top in Nenital. Again, your wish. Any one of these, if written, the answer would be correct. So, we are done with question A. Let's move on to question B. Fill in the blanks with suitable words. Okay. Nenital is located amidst the dash hills. Yes, which hills? Yes, we had read amidst means in the middle of Kumau Hills. So what are we going to write here? Kumau. K-U-M-A-O-N. Nenital is situated at an altitude of dash meter above sea level. Directly given, it is situated at an altitude of about 2000 meter. So we here we are going to write 2000 meter above sea level. Easy, very easy. Direct answers are given. Children, in fact, for all of them, direct answers are given in the passage. Now, for these two questions, you have to apply your own mind. Give the antonyms of the following words. Rich. Yes, what is the antonym of rich? No 
No, it's not given in the paragraph. You have to write on your own. The antonym of rich is poor. Above. What is the antonym? Antonym, I hope you remember. Opposite. What is the antonym of above? Very good. The antonym of above is below. Okay, done with question B and C also. Okay, let's come to the last one. Make sentences with the following words. Beautiful and tourists. Children, you have to write your own sentences. I'm sure you'll be easily able to frame a sentence using the word beautiful. Yes, do it on your own. Again, tourists also. You have to frame a sentence on your own. I'm sure you'll be able to do these. So children, with that, we we'll come to the end of today's session. I'm sure you would have understood the passage properly and you'll be able to answer all the questions on your own. So keep in mind, whenever you read a passage or any text, read it with the purpose of understanding it. Right? If you find any difficult words, you may refer to a dictionary and find the meaning of the word from the dictionary or you may Google it so that you understand the passage properly. Right? That's all for today. Take care. Goodbye.